And now let's get to this wiring of the coil. Yeah, and that's that's kind of complicated right there because these are two coils. Heck yeah. Oh sh Initiating. <laughs> It is Sunday and in this vlog I will show you how to build a spark generator aka a high voltage transformator. You can get them in these little kits on Amazon. There is no manual, no instructions whatsoever. So let's figure this out together. As you can see I got two of them. It was a pack of two which is perfect. So let's take a look. A screw, a switch, pins, the plate, the board, a transistor, heatsink, cable tie, diode and resistor. And well, that's the main component, the heart, the coils. Hell yeah, let's do this. Just take a look at this board, it's pretty self-explaining, so that's probably why there are no instructions. Heatsink goes like that, transistor goes like that. Well, you get it, right? And also, I won't use this switch. I will use a relay for that, so that I can actuate it from my Arduino. Okay, let's get started with the easy part, namely the resistor. Let's just stick it in there. There is no polarity, so that doesn't matter. Pull the other side through. Just like that, easy enough. Let's turn it upside down. And solder it right in place. Just like that, looking good. So let's clip it, just like that. Let's add this uh, diode. This one has a polarity, but it's fairly easy to see because you know there is this white label. This time I will do it like that. The light on this one is thicker, so I will need pliers to pull it through. Easy as that, looking good. Let's repeat the same steps. I put this little screw there so that it will stay in place. One and two. Let's clip them as well. Very nice. Okay, now we have this heatsink with the transistor and the transistor has no thread in there so it needs to go like that i won't use it for a long time so i don't need a heat paste or something like that it should work just fine because it shouldn't get like warm at all i think let's put it in first the transistor and then you pull it back a bit it will stay in place on its own that's nice Push it down snugly and then solder it in place. One, two, three. Let's get this again. Nice. Okay, four and five. Nice. There we go. Now there's a hole on the other side. Ah, nice. Not really necessary, but it looks better. Let's clip these. This one. And this one. So that's the progress so far. There is still the switch, but as I said, I will trigger it with a relay, so let's put the switch aside. They actually do not come with a power cable, so I will just use these. One for this hole, the other one for this hole. But first let me do the coil and this part is definitely the most complicated part to install. These wires should face to the bottom, this will make it easier. So let's fix it in place with this cable tie. Inserting it first. Just like that. Wires face down. Let's fix it in place. God damn it. Okay, so tight fit. And a little trick to get them really tight is to 
take it like that and then just wind the clamp, wind it up and yeah this will get it really tight. There is still a lot of slack. There we go. Oh yeah. That's way better. So now it is fairly tight. Let's clip this end as well. And now let's get to this wiring of the coil. Yeah, and that's that's kind of complicated right there because these are two coils. So we need to measure the wires. That's the setting that I will use. If they are conductive, then it will say zero basically. If not, then it will say one. But before you can measure them, you need to get rid of the coat because they are insulated with a you know coat of paint, spray, whatever. So just take the iron and let's get them with just a tiny bit of lead. Just a bit, just like that. And now we should be able to measure them. So let's check this one, let's check this one. Nope. So this is one coil right there. And then these two will be the other coil. Yes, okay, so that's prepared correctly. Now the end of one coil needs to go in the left hole. The other coil needs to go into the right hole and both coils need to meet in the middle one so that it will result in one coil basically. So let's get it in there. Let's get this one in there. Let's pull them through and let's make sure that this looks pleasing to the eye. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, so just like that. Okay, and these two need to go through the middle. Right there. Okay, so let's fix this little thing. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. There we go. Very well. Okay, I can definitely live with that. Just to be safe, let's check these outer coils. Perfect. Just like that. Let's fix them in place. To... Oh, this is terrible. Uh, this is actually terrible. It won't stick to it. Break. Oh, that... That did it. You need to rub it a bit. Just like that. Hey, that's perfect. Just give it a good rub. Nice. Okay, easy as that. That wasn't too bad. Okay, let's clip these wires as well. And now all that's left are two little pins for the power. One and two. Let's put them in there. And now this is gonna suck. I need to use a bit of duct tape to make them stay in place. What a freaking pain. Oh God, perfect. Okay, but seriously, now I can fix them in place. Just like that, please. Oh, yeah, it's a bit hot, but it's not too bad. Okay, nice, that was good. Let's get the, oh my God, the other one is really bad. Oh, come on, oh, this is, this is. Whoa, hell yeah. Oh no, that was a bit too fast. Yep. Oh yeah, perfect. Nice. Okay, there we finally go. Oh, and actually, you know, that's the switch right there. So let me just add two more. One and two. And I will use these to connect the relay to. Let's apply a bit of lead and then I will just push them through. Nice. You know what? Actually, let's fill it up. Good. And that's more like it. Okay, let's start with the first one. <laughs> oh, it's hot. So let me put it like that. Now I can grab this one with a liar. And let's go. Easy as that. Hell yeah, that was actually really easy. Let's get the other one too. Nice. And now let's position them perfectly. Ah, it was hot. Oh God. Ah, <laughs> definitely not too bad. Nice. So looking pretty good in my opinion. And again, these little pins now allow me to just connect wires just like that. Sweet, let's try it out. There I have an 18650 battery. Let's also connect the switch. 
just like that. Let's make it like the minus, white will be plus. Let's move these a bit closer. Nice, just like that. And now let's grab this battery. Let's check this out. Let's make it happen. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, hell yeah, this is amazing. Got myself a little spark generator. Well, it's not really a spark. And in theory, this should be able to ignite the flame. I just, I need more hands for that. Heck yeah. Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I just burned the, <laughs> I'm so stupid. But hey, that's the thing right there. To be honest, it might be a bit weak, but at least it works. So let me get my setup. <laughs> that's it. With the valve right there, power source, transistor, accelerometer, and we need this, the relay. Oh my god. Let's just put this on there. We need to connect the switch to the relay. Okay, this one is the common. I don't know which one is which one, but let's just try this one. Black is minus. There it is. Is Okay, it's activating, so we need to switch. We need to switch it over to the other pole, then it will be normally closed. Well, normally open, normally not activated, that is. And now let's plug in our Arduino. Relay is activating. I might be able to just duct tape it on there. That would be sweet. Okay, plus right there, minus right there. Okay, so this one already came loose. Oh my God, just like that. And now there is our spark generator and check this out. Isn't this amazing? I hope you're able to see it. This is so sweet. So that's that. Now you know how to assemble a little spark generator a tr high voltage transformator and now I have a fully working prototype well not fully working but everything that I need is here basically got my arc got my valve and all that's left now is actually a prototype to put it together on my arm basically and I'm so looking forward to that this will be a punch activated flamethrower avatar style but well that's enough progress for today smash that like button the way I smash together this arc generator bang the bell like crap pa. check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah that's it for today i will see you tomorrow